Hello, hello, hello. Hello. We are doing Black Voices Artist Chat right here. We are actually behind the theater, the Wi Fi theater. I just finished rehearsal with beautiful Amara Grandison. And um, and I was like, you know what? Let's do our interview right here. Yes. Why not? Yes. And we got the sun shining right Blessing on us. Blessing us. Which Blessing is us. making us look. Yo también. Hello. <laughs> so, um, so, Amara, why don't you tell us a little bit about your show? Sure. So, um, my show is called The Cohort, A Train of Thought. I think you can see that my glasses are lopsided um, <laughs> because my ears are lopsided. Oh, okay. um, any fun fact for you all? Um, my show is called The Cohort, A Train of Thought. Um, I'm getting self-conscious about this, so I'm just going to take this No, off. you look so Hollywood. Thank you. <laughs> I was a little bit jealous. I was a little bit jealous that I didn't have my sunglasses on. It's okay. It's it's. They're gone now. They're gone. Um, uh, third size of charm. My show is called The Cohort, A Train of Thought. Um, the format is A Train of Thought. I think about a lot of things very tangentially, and that comes across in this show. But it all ties together. And um, my show is a look at disability. Um, it's a look at how one can acknowledge their privilege um, and be accountable and at the same time acknowledge that um, you know you might not have it all and you might not be okay in the same vein and that is okay in and of itself mm. um, yes. yes yes I love it I love it and so well I just want to give you guys a little history if you don't mind um, so Amara Grandison is my brother's friend's daughter and so lloyd arthur lloyd jeffers my brother who passed away many years ago um he was friends with with amara's father and one of the things that i i really uh, that, that i love about ricardo <laughs> is that um, out of all of my brother's friends, he was the one that was the most consistent in checking in with my mother. And, and I just really, and he checked in with me too, but like mostly just checking in with my mother. And then, you know, he said to me, you know, I, um, I just know that if it, if it were the, the other way around, I would want somebody to check in on mine. So, um, so for that reason, I am so connected to Amar, and I and I'm so happy that she's like an actress, and and a great actress. So you guys need to come to the show because you will see. I mean, she does drama, she does comedy, she does it all great. She does a bunch of characters. Tell us about a couple of your characters. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so the characters um, are all. Um, voices in my head. I play Black Mora, who is an influencer. Give us, a, uh, give us a bit of her. A bit of Black Mora. Yeah. yeah, she's confident, she's bold, isn't it? She's fit, she's got, she's got real assets. I don't know if I can curse on her, but that's sort of her vibe. She's loud, she don't care. Um, much like- Love it, yeah, love it. Yeah, 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 much like, uh, the Mora who is on Love Island. There's a uh, DL who's who's the who's the most masculine masculine presenting of all of my characters. Continue that, but as him. Continue your explanation, but as DL, I'm yeah. putting her on the spot. She put me on the spot, man. She she playing me, man. Juliet, she brought me. Man, I started from the bottom. Now I'm in Los Angeles. Yeah. I can't we even here. believe it, man. We here, we <laughs> here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm just grateful, man. I'm grateful for this day. I'm grateful for this sun. I'm grateful for God. I'm grateful for Juliet, man, because uh, it's not a guarantee that we gonna be here. What up? So, uh, yeah, and then. Uh, well then let's let's keep it at that let's keep it wanna, at that we don't want to you know we don't want to yes give, give, it, give it all away <laughs> give us a little uh history of your experience in this industry or your background your education etc etc yeah so i i realize i've been i've been performing basically my whole life um i 
took dance classes as a kid. I think I took my first dance class when I was like two or three. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was in a professional children's choir for seven years. Oh, um, she sings too, yo. I do sing in the show, I do She's sing. She's a in the triple show. threat, she sings, she dances. Um, I do. I went to college and I was an Africana Studies uh, major and religion minor, but I still did theater extracurricularly in college. And then I recently got my master's in acting, my MFA. Shout out to my cohort, my grad school cohort, uh -huh. uh, which, uh, which may I just talk about the impetus for why I, I named it that? Yeah, sure. So. As I said, I was in grad school for three years. My program was three years. And I was in a class of eight people. I was one of eight. And- Exclusive. It's ex very, very exclusive, yes. And uh, your cohort becomes the only people you see all day, every day for mm -hmm. three years. And, you know, there's, there's love there at the foundation, but there's friction, of course, right? And, a lot of that friction comes from the fact that you're seeing qualities in yourself that you don't like that are embodied in other people that are then getting reflected back onto you. Mm -hmm. um, and so because of that, um, as soon as grad school ended, the lockdown began for me and my class. So it was sort of like I was used to being around all of these other voices telling me things, reflecting things back to me. Mm -hmm. And then lockdown began and I was immediately by myself. I was I was alone. So left to my own devices, I was left with my own voices and all of my idiosyncrasies and all of that going on in my head. So I became sort of my own cohort. Um, and that was the driving force for this show. It's beautiful. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. I live with my boyfriend, so I, uh, during the pandemic, and so I can't imagine what it would have been like if I was, if I were living alone. So, um, anyway, so that's all for now. I am very excited about your show. Me Tell too. us when it's going to be. It will be on November 6th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, at White Fire Theater in Sherman Oaks, Ventura Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. That's right, and you can get your tickets at www.whitefiretheater.com. That's theater with an R-E. And I hope to see you there. Bye. Peace. Bye.